Like I was saying, he didn't want no competition. And he knew his music, Gucci music is no competition to Jeezy's music. But T.I. got some competition when it comes to music. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's supposed to be your boy. Y'all the two biggest down there supposed to be. y'all. Why you want to do the verses with him? That's how I look at it. So you never was a fan of Gucci's music? Hell no. Man, I want to ask you about this. You know, I asked you last time about the Pimp C stuff when I when I mentioned like the feedback from the first interview when you talked about their story with the UGs, his security assistant, mm -hmm. 13 pistols. Man, I shared a clip of you reflecting on T.I. and Jeezy having that. They little disagreement before, you know, they kind of patched things up and people were critical about that being true. And on top of that, you know, if you look at just all the interviews that Jeezy does, even T.I.'s interviews when T.I.'s name comes up or Jeezy's name comes up and T.I. interview, you know, vice versa, they always like positive about it. And Jeezy always credits T.I to being a person who got him out the street to really take music seriously and not like straddle the fence. You know what I'm saying? So what do you got to say 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 about that, boy? About that story being real? I mean, you got you got to think about it. the stories I'm telling is before before some of them folks that saying it's fake even knew who Jeezy was. I'm talking about the shit I'm talking about was before we even came out with Thug Motivation. Before we even came out with Trap or Die. So that's before then. Of course now, or even when they got a whiff of Jesus, that shit was already done and over with. Meech was still out. You know what I'm saying? That's so a long time ago. That's a long time ago. That shit got squashed when Meech was out. And I told him, Meech squashed the shit in Magic City. Like what I didn't say it was I didn't say we was beefing with T I like that, like we throwing blows and beating up niggas and nothing like that. That shit was just some words, two egos, and they got squashed, and they became good friends. But you know, at the end of the day, I still don't think Jeezy liked the nigga. They gonna, he gonna do that because it's one of his peers. They see each other in Atlanta, Tip got shit going on. You know, Jeezy, you know, he, well, come on, man, like. You don't feel like it's genuine? Hell no, nah, man. If it was genuine, he would he would have did the verses with Tip. Why you want to do a verse with Tip? Because you wanted to squash the beef with Gucci, man. You know what I'm saying? But he knew he couldn't do no verses with Tip because Tip got songs too, you feel me? Like, he wanted to do some shit where he knew he was going to... He was going to... He was going to take that shit over. And as far as the music, as far as Gucci music matching up with ours, never. And I say ours because I was there. You know what I'm saying? Go listen to the fake love song he said. I watched him work his fingers to the bone. I was there. I watched him work. <laughs> but... Like I was saying, he didn't want no competition. And he knew his music, Gucci music is no competition to Jeezy's music. But T.I. got some competition when it comes to music. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's supposed to be your boy. Y'all the two biggest down there supposed to be. y'all. Why you don't want to do the verses with him? That's how I look at it. So you never was a fan of Gucci's music? Hell no. Never. Putting the, putting the issues to the side? Never. No. With T.I., you said T.I., you messed with T.I. Yeah, I fuck with T.I.